obviously uh, was a it was a tough one Sunday, wasn't it? You know, to lose a game like that. It almost kind of mirrored the Swifts game from the year before. I mean, but this one was probably tougher because I felt like it was probably one that got away on Sunday. It definitely got away from us. Um, we were all pretty down, I think, if you'd seen us courtside. We were all pretty devastated for that loss because I think um, I think we put a four-quarter performance together and to not come away with the win um, was disappointing. And while, yes, we're two wins, three losses, I think the brand of netball we're playing is a good brand of netball and I think those wins will come. Yeah, what do you... I mean, it was kind of like the Vixens game in a bit, wasn't it? Like, uh, things sort of changed in that second half. I mean, is it, is it a mental thing? I mean, are teams going in, obviously, with the belief that they're still in the game when they're playing against you? I think the competition has really lifted in terms yeah. of standard of not um, giving the ball up. Um, I think a few years ago, you could have 20 turnovers a game and you could still win the game by a fair mm -hmm. few, whereas you can't do that at the moment. Um, we had 14 general play turnovers in that game and still didn't walk away from the game with a win. So I think the standard of the competition is just getting better and better. And... Um, We've got to find a way to win those games. I think the last two weeks have definitely been winnable games and it's just us as, you know, we've got some experienced heads, but we are a new-ish lineup this year that um, finding a way to win those close matches, which is what we could do, um, you know, in our first few years, where well, we definitely would win those games. So, look, we're heading in the right direction. I'm actually really um, excited about what this group is doing. What was the knock you took on Sunday, Steph? Was it in the back or something? <laughs> yeah, or? it was in the back. I think a lot of people thought I'd done my ankle or my knee. Well, we um, yeah, that. no, I'm all good. Uh, just a bit of a knock to back. It was probably more of a shock than anything, but yeah, no, completely fine. Um, and it was one of those things, wasn't it? I guess you were in the heat of the moment because, um, you know, you looked like you were, you know, you'd come out of a war zone. You were, you were coming back on and you like, you looked in pain, but I guess you've just got to do that sometimes, don't you? Yeah. Um, look, I'm probably a bit of a crier. Um, <laughs> I tend to cry at a drop of a hat. So, um, no, I was completely fine and knew that I could go back out there and um, do my job. Um, the rotations at the moment, are, are you liking, like, I know you played, you played golf shooter for a little bit on, on Sunday. I mean, is that something we might see happen a bit more regularly or...? I think so. We train it at, um, at training as well and Cars really offers out at Goal Attack some extra height. She moves differently to me. You could have Charlie behind her and go with two tools and um, I think it just offers something a little bit different and uh, I think you could see it throughout the season and Cars also offers um, great defence. So if we need a ball turned over in terms of their backs are getting a lot of possession, uh, she can definitely turn ball over for us. Big stage game for you on Tuesday, playing actually on Anzac Day, one o'clock against Collingwood um, in Melbourne, which is like the place to be on Anzac Day yeah. for sport. I mean, are you excited about this one? Really excited um, to be in a at Olympic Park, um, and you know the MCG is going to have Essendon versus Collingwood, um, which is a massive match. Will be ninety thousand people, I believe, will be at that one, and the Storm are also playing. Yep. Um, so I think it'll be a really cool experience to go down there. And uh, Tuesday is a bit different for us. I think I'm um, having ten days break. Um, has actually been great but yeah really excited to see what we can do against Collingwood who look both teams we both need the win yeah and you've had some you've had some pretty classic battles with Collingwood and uh, you've had some really good battles with them in Melbourne haven't you in the past yeah we have um, I do remember one game they absolutely um, walloped us we got I think it was by 14 so I don't forget those things and they're a team that when they click they click and they look really good so we've got to make sure we break down some of those connections and there's still, you know, they've still got some of the, you know, the old heads there. Like, Jeeva's still there, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is, and yeah. I mean, they've got some players that just know how to get it done, don't they? Yeah, and Jodie Ann Ward, look, she's playing great netball. Um, she's got, I think she's leading in intercepts. And um, I think it's definitely the work that Jeeva and Ash do around, around her that um, open up those opportunities for us. And, look, they're a great, they're a great team across the board. Um, I think the Kelsey and Sophie connection's growing as well. So, uh, look, I think... It'll be a tough ma match for us, but I do think we line up really well against them, and I think we have the answers that we need um, to get that win. Um, do you think, uh, does, what's that old saying, uh, losing becomes a habit? I mean, is it really important to try and, I guess, break this streak now? Because sometimes if you don't take the wins when they're there, mm. you can get into a bit of a hole. Absolutely. Um, we had a winning culture, and yeah. uh, look, last year was last year, and we didn't win... Um, many games and I think if you become okay with 
losing um, is not okay. And we definitely, I think, again, if you'd seen how devastated we were and even B and Jeno spoke about how they felt after the game because it was a game that got away from us. Um, I don't think people, well, we're not okay with um, losing at the moment and knowing that we have the answers to get those wins is probably the disappointment for us. But look, we have another another game and we're not we're not quite halfway through this um, season yet. So we've just got to make sure that yeah we win, we take it game by game, but get those wins. And just finally, I was going to ask Belinda this one, but the defensive end, obviously, Katie Ann and uh, Carla. I mean, uh, are they? Are you happy with how that's going? I mean, I know she's tried a couple of things down there as well, but the one at goal defence and one at goal keeper, does that seem to be the way to go? Or? Yeah, and we've got Ash on this, um, young Ash Irvin, and she she's a tall, she can play out at both, both positions and she can have some impact as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if you would see her. And look, Katie's cat like... Katie this year is a different Katie to what we had last year. Um, the way that she comes out, she gets ball, the way she's reading the play, her footwork. And Carla, I think, has come back and she's the exact same Carla. And it's just building those connections as well. And as um, I alluded to before, teams aren't giving ball up anymore. It is hard to get ball. So as an attacking group, we've got to make sure we treasure possession. And probably touching on that, like Mahali Cassidy at wing defence, she does a lot of the work that probably sets up some of those intercepts for KD to get. I know you can't say a lot, but the, the umpires seem to be getting off involved a lot in these games. Not just lightning games, though they seem to be getting involved in a lot of games. But is that just something the players have just got to deal with? Yeah, we've got to adjust to it. Um, different, You know, um, I think in all sports, you know how umpires umpire, and when you get the the list of who you have, you know if they're going to have um, they're a little bit more will pull offensive contacts, or you have to really get off the body. So it is an adjustment for us that we need to make um, because in the end, their calls, their call, they're not going to change their mind. Yeah.